Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be an update on my April um, makeup purchases and how much I spent uh, this past month in makeup. I feel like I did a lot better this month than in March. March I went a little crazy. Uh, I feel like I still got a lot, but I feel like the purchases that I made were a lot more thought out. I may have spent uh, quite a bit of money, but I felt like the items were either planned or I got less products um, at a higher price, which I feel comfortable doing. Um, hi, handsome. Hi. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to take you through uh, each purchase that I made. I may skip through some items. I'm going to just try to highlight the ones that I really were excite was excited about. Um, I got some really good deals this month, so I wanted to share those with you guys, but um, I don't want to make this video too long, so we might skip through some of the stuff as well. Uh, the first thing that I purchased or paid for was my Ipsy Glam Bake Plus subscription. It was with tax $26.38. That's something I'm going to get every month regardless of... Uh, you know, all my other purchases. I It's just something that I thoroughly enjoy. It's usually a really good uh, value, so I will continue to do that. I will also um, add on as well. Uh, I got three add-ons this month. Um, they were all sample sizes, so they were only $3 each, so that was $9. Um, the next thing I purchased was off of Ulta.com. I purchased the Buxom uh, eyeshadow palette. This is in the May Contain Nudity. So it's just a neutral palette. It's got some um, shimmers and mattes. I haven't tried the Buxom formula before and um, so I wanted to try it. It also, you can remove the shadows so you can in, uh, buy singles and interchange them as well. Um, I got this on the recommendation of Jen Loves Reviews. Um, she said these were really good quality, so I wanted to try them out. Um, I got a couple other items with that purchase as well. Um, so my total came to $35.13 for those. Um, down, down. Okay. Uh, then I went to Ulta. I did, my goal was only to go to Ulta once a month. I did go twice this month. Um, I don't know if I was really paying that close attention to um, if I was going, I went um, twice to for their spring haul event. I was looking for some items. Um, I got some tools. Uh, the first time I went, I got some tools that, like, a, um, I needed a new uh, scissors for my eyebrows. My eyebrows are super long. They grow super fast. So I do trim them, and I need a new pair of scissors. So this is just the Ulta brand, and I actually really like them, so need a new pair of scissors, I would recommend these. Hi, you're super friendly today, aren't you? Um, and then I got a couple new Super Shock shadows, uh, and then I also got two items from Soap and Glory, but I can't find anywhere if they're cruelty-free or not. It does not say anything on their website, so I'm assuming they're not, and I plan on returning those two. So that total was $39.58, but I think I'm going to those two that'll be returned, I would guess um, I'd probably get about $15 back for those. Uh, the next thing I bought was a new hair oil. The hair oil I have is old. Um, it is actually this Marrakesh oil, and I got this in a FabFitFun box in 2015, and I decided it was time to get rid of it. Um, I'm currently using a sample um, like a Moroccan oil sample, I think, and that's almost gone. So I did pick up this. It is the Hangover Hair Elixir from We Are Peridot. Um, <laughs> and I got this for $14 during the FabFitFun sale. The next thing I bought was, uh, and I'll explain, this is not cruelty-free, but I'll explain that in a second. So this is the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. It is their kind of all neutral palette. It's got a lot of light browns and nudes in it. I keep forgetting that Lorac is kind of on the questionable list. Um, they were cruelty free when they were owned by Carol Shaw. She was the like 
creator of Lorac and um, the company was sold and now it's kind of they're kind of on that gray area list so I'm not sure whether they are or not anymore so um, I did purchase a couple of rock items this month but I think I'm gonna um, kind of either stop or slow down purchasing their stuff because I'm really not sure whether they are not but I was really excited to get this because now I have a full set I do have all four Mega Pro palettes I did not pay full price for any of these um, so, uh, this, the third one is only available, I believe, on Nordstrom's website, and they had a sale, so I paid, it was $35, so with tax it came to $37.35, and then these retail for, like, $59 or $60 each, so I thought that was a really good deal, and I'm really, I really am excited to have it. I do like the Lorac formula, and I think... Um, you know, if I never have to, if I, if they're not cruelty free, it's not like I'm going to run out of Lorac eyeshadows anytime soon. So there's that. Uh, the next purchase I made was at TJ Maxx and in my last video I said I was itching to go to TJ Maxx and I actually held off till April 20th. I had some, um, bigger bills to pay my cats playing with a shopping bag down there if you hear that um I had some bigger bills to pay so I waited a little bit to later in the month um I was really proud of myself though because I only ended up getting two makeup items during this sh trip shh handsome I ended up getting some like clothing items and some home items as well so I did have to put back some of the stuff that I was kind of looking at um I had a bunch of stuff in my cart and I slowly you know took things out okay I really don't need this I really don't need this and I ended up with two items left and these were two items when I put them in my cart I knew they were staying in my cart because they were amazing deals so the first one is from Bare Minerals it's the Celestial Magic Eight piece mini gen nude radiant lipstick collection and the so I think this is was their holiday kit and I got eight mini eyeshadows they each have a gram of product in it and I'm the type of person I would rather have a like a couple minis instead of a full size um, so that I can try colors so um, there's not a lot of product in each that's about it for each product um, this is in the shade 2-2 um, but I just thought that was so cute and it was only $9.99. So I'm um, really excited about that purchase. The next one I got was the Becca Golden Glow Trio. Um, so it has three of their mini highlighters. Um, it has Champagne Pop, Opal, and Moonstone. This has a $57 value. It retails for $48 and I paid $14.99 for this so I could not pass this up. I do not own any of the Becca highlighters so I was super excited to find this as well. Um, and then I got, oh focus, okay. So then I got uh, these makeup wipes. These, I got two of them and they were, or came in a two pack and they were $3.99. So I also returned something at the strip. So those three items came to about the same amount as my return. Um, so I actually didn't count that towards my total this month. I returned um, two Too Faced blushes. One was broke when I got it. It was the peach shaped like cream to powder ones. Um, and one was broke and I didn't want to risk the other one breaking. So I did decide to return those two plus the Kevin Aquan lipstick I picked up because um, Kevin Aquan is not cruelty free. So I did return those. It was a little over $30 for the return amount. Um, so yeah, so I didn't count that purchase uh, towards my total because I actually spent that money last month or the month before. Uh, then I went to Ulta. I got a couple LA Girl lip products. Uh, that I'm going to actually do a video here coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, I bought a couple of the Laura Geller Color Luster Lip Glosses. Um, this is uh, the lip gloss that I'm currently trying to pan in 2019, and I just really like it, and I don't think they make it anymore. I couldn't find it on the Laura Geller website, 
um, Ulta is discontinuing as far as I know Laura Geller everything on their website is on sale and then everything in the store was 50% off and they did have some of them left so I got um, two of them I got gilded honey and rose tourmaline so I picked two of these up they were half off so they were like $9.50 each um, and then I also, that shopping trip, I got a replacement of my Pacifica Meissler water, which I really like. And this is just a backup for when I'm finished using my current um, Meissler waters. So that purchase was $42.84. Um, the next place I went was Ross. Um, and the super, the item I'm super excited about was a palette from The Balm. I never thought I would find The Balm at a place like that. I just hadn't seen The Balm uh, like at TJ Maxx before, but I actually found the Mat Meat Matador palette, and this was only $8.99. <laughs> I, I almost bought two of them, but I was like, what am I going to do with two palettes? Anyway, so I was thinking of picking up one of the balm palettes. Um, I kind of was leaning towards the Meat Matrimony, but because this is such a good deal, I had to buy this one. Um, they, they're like $42 originally. I just heard such a good, um, such good things about this palette. So I, or they're, uh, not this palette, but the balm matte formula. So I had to pick it up. Um, this is what it looks like. I will get most use out of these two rows, and maybe this is actually a deep green, so I will definitely get some use out of this palette. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm excited to. Um, I also bought um, some more wipes. Um, I probably wouldn't have bought the um, green ones or these ones from TJ Maxx if uh, I knew I was going to find these, but I bought those first, so I'll use them, but these are what I was really wanting to get. These are my favorite facial wipes. They are from Petal Fresh Botanicals. I got one in rose and I got one in pomegranate. I haven't tried these scents before. I've had the lavender and then I've had the coconut one, but something about these makes my face feel so clean. They don't leave a weird residue on them and it just feels clean. So I am really bad about washing my face at night. So I have these on backup for the days that I'm super lazy and I just use one of these to clean my face or remove my makeup. Uh, each of these were $3.99 each and you get 60 wipes so definitely uh, will repurchase these again in the future. I also bought a lip set, a Mana Kadara lip set which I plan on returning uh, I thought I was thinking I had some that of that that I really liked uh, but I the ones I have are actually a different brand so I'm actually gonna return that one those were $8.99 I got a lot of lip products this month so I don't actually need that one so that's what I'm gonna return the last um, few items were from Kohl's um, if you again Lorax not cruelty free but this is a eight piece lip gloss set and it was only $15. I couldn't believe it. So if you do purchase from Lorac, this is a steal, really. It says it has $136 value, so, or $15. Eight full size lip glosses, that's crazy. So I did buy that. Um, then I bought this from NYX. This was the this was during the holidays and it's been on clearance for a long time and I finally decided to get it because it was only $5.90 uh, and it has their lip luster and it has 12 of them, 12 full size products for like 6 bucks, and I couldn't pass it up. I don't think they um, make this formula anymore. I The ones on the NYX website were like a trio and it was like discounted so they probably don't make it anymore but I have all I will ever need in this kit so and then the last two items I bought uh, were two more palettes the first one from BH Cosmetics it's the Studio Pro Ultimate Artistry Shadow Palette I did have a shadow break already but I I don't have it in here but I put it in another little jar I might try to repress it but this is what uh, take that. this is what that palette looks like it's a 
big palette. Um, it was on sale, so I got a good deal on it. Um, and I really like the Lorac formula. The next palette that I got, oh, where did I put it? I have the, I have the outer carton, but I don't have the actual palette. It's here somewhere. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. I wanted to show it to you. <laughs> okay, this is the Color Festival palette. Um, they did come out with one last year, the Weekend Festival, so I believe this is this summer's palette. Um, I also have the one from the holidays, which is the Royal Fair. Something about having three palettes all the same size and same layout. Something satisfying about this. So I did want to add this to the collection. Um, I wasn't going to get it at first, but I'm actually really glad I did because it was on sale, so it was about uh, $10 for me, which um, it was it was originally $20, and I think I paid about $10 for it. Um, so this is what it looks like. These shades, you guys, are so stunning. Let me swatch a few of them for you. So this is the shade Center Stage. This blue one is denim, and then this one is electronic. These are so pigmented and so pretty. Um, this is like a grungy gold is the best way, and it's probably going to be my new favorite shadow. I haven't worn it on the eyes, but it is stunning. I love it. So I think this palette has some unique uh, colors in it that are not currently in my collection, so I'm super excited to have this one. So my total for April came to $275. Uh, I am going to do a return, so that'll drop that a little bit. I feel like I didn't follow some of the goals that I had set for myself. Um, I did only go to TJ Maxx once. I only went to Ross once. However, I did go to Ulta twice, which is um, something I only wanted to go to once. Or one place I only wanted to go to once. Um, I did not meet my palette goal. I purchased one, two, five palettes, <laughs> and my goal is two, so I definitely did not um, do that. And actually, I don't think I've met that goal yet this year, I'm bringing in a lot of palettes, so I definitely need to rein that in. Uh, next month, I think my goal for next month is not going to be to buy any lip products because, you know, I got the Lorac set, the Bare Mineral set, the NYX set, and the Laura Geller lip glosses, and the LA Girl lip gloss, or four lip products. So <laughs> I have a ton of lip products to try out, so that's going to be my goal for next month is not to buy any lip products. Again, two palettes is still the goal each month. Um, but yeah, so I did better than last month, but um, I'm still up there, so I, let's see, I don't know, next month it should be interesting, I probably will go to TJ Maxx again at some point, um, but I don't think I'll be going into Ulta um, that I know of, I don't know if they're, hopefully they're not having any sales so that uh, I can, you know, avoid that temptation. Uh, but that's all I have. If you want to watch any of my other uh, monthly updates, I will leave the link down below. You can also check out some of my Project Pam videos, uh, and I'd also do unboxings on my channel, so uh, I will leave all those links down below. Thanks for joining me. Uh, feel free to visit me on Instagram. I post about my Project Panning and other makeup on there as well. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe and join me for another video. Thanks. Bye.